hey guys so i'm here again with another tutorial my name is isabel omahi if you're stopping by for the very first time please do subscribe to my channel so i'm just going to go right into this tutorial and i'm starting off with this foundation this is my huda beauty foundation in cinnamon and i'm using the bond this way foundation in cappuccino i mix those two shades together and i'm just going to be blending them on the skin my client permitted me to do this video and this is for her birthday shoot i filmed this for her birthday shoot and it's just a gold um, eyeshadow look and a red glam lipstick and that was what she wanted she wanted to look really glam for her makeup and for her shoot and you know this is how we achieved it so i kept on blending this foundation made sure it sat perfectly and to be honest the foundation was just blending very nicely just was going in very smoothly and looking very bomb so i just took my time to blend it so you guys keep watching this <laughs> video of me showing you how i blend it I'm going in with my white glam beauty blender and i'm just using that to just make sure the foundation is sitting in perfectly and it's looking like second skin and from what i'm seeing it's really looking like her skin sitting perfectly looking beautiful i'm going in with my two concealer this is the um elf concealer in deep olive and my kevin Aquin concealer in x12 so I'm just going to be placing the deep olive concealer, that's the elf hydrating concealer, on the outer corner of the eyes and the outer corner of the forehead. And in the inner corners, I'm just going to be placing the Kevin Aquin concealers. So um, the deep olive is kind of closer to her shade. So I'm just putting it at the outer corner so it blends in properly. So I'm using the flat eyeshadow brush to just place the product so it sits properly and after that I'm just going to go ahead and just blend them. I'm starting with the outer corner so it blends in seamlessly then I'll go into the inner corner and I'll blend that also. Right now I'm going to win my black opal stick foundation and this is in carob in the shade carob and I'm just going to be using that to contour the sides of her face and her forehead and also her jaw lines and I'll also be using that same shade to contour her nose 
and after placement i'm just going to use the other side of my beauty blender and blend the foundation the stick foundation in you guys if you've not watched my other video please go watch my other video there are a lot to learn from my other videos so please just take your time and watch my other videos most steps i've done i also explain further in my other videos there's a prep video down below there's a brow video you know so just try and watch my other videos thank you guys now i'm just using that stick foundation and i'm just contouring the nose i'm not trying to make sure the contour is so straight that's why i'm just using the same brush i used So you guys please do share my videos to your friends and please do subscribe to my channel tell your friends to subscribe to my channel we need to grow this channel please you guys do share my videos do subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to subscribe thank you guys so much So I'm going ahead and I'm using the pink shade from my Eye Magic palette and this is going to serve as my liquid blush and I'm just placing it on the cheek and a little bit on the forehead and the tip of the nose and I'm just blending that in. I'm using the Bond This Way foundation and I'm just using just a little bit. This is a lighter shade. This is in Golden Beach and it's a lighter shade. So I just wanted just a little pop of brightness under her eyes and that's why I used it. And after that, I'm going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in translucent and I'm just going to be using that to set her face. I'll just be setting all the parts that I highlighted with the setting powder. Right now I'm using my mauve bronzer. This is mauve bronzer in Trailblazer and I'm just going to be using it to be bronzing the part of the face I contoured. I'll just be applying it as a bronzer and I'll be bringing it a little bit forward. I'll also be using this to contour my nose, to contour her nose. And right now I'm applying blush from my Morph T3 
3T Totally Tan Palette and I'm just using that pinkish blush and I'm just blending that in. Right now I'm going in with my Sacha Butter Cup Setting Powder and I'm just using that to bake under her eyes and every part of her face that you know we set i'm just trying to pick i also picking the size of her mouth Right now, I'm going to be doing her brows and I'm going to be using this Beauty Line by Didi Brow Pencil and that's what I'm going to be using to draw her brows. So first of all, I'm outlining and then after outlining, I'm going to be drawing strokes to fill in the brows. I just used my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil to just fill the inner, the beginning part of the brows, just a little bit to draw more natural strokes because this pencil is a bit lighter. I'm using these two concealers. This is the e.l.f. in medium scent and the darker one is in dark deep. I'm using that to conceal, but right now what I'm using is my MAC brow tint now and i'm just going to be using it all over her brow because she was very very precisely saying she wanted her brows very light she kept on saying that's exactly what she wanted she wanted her brows to be very light she was very <laughs> she was insisting on that so so i had to make sure i made her brows as light as i possibly could so that tint is actually kind of a very light brown so it gave her the color she wanted So this brush I'm using, this is the Miracula Definer brush. Like I always say, I love this brush. You guys, it's just so precise and it's just so helpful when drawing my brows. So. so I'm done with that. I'm just going to blend the concealer from my brows and then I'm using my setting powder. I'm using the Sacha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to be setting the brows. I'm 
Anyway, with the bronzer I used again, and I'm just going to be using that as my transition shade. So I'm just going to be applying this bronzer all over the crease of my eye lid. So right now I'm using my eyeshadow base, this is the Tara eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to be applying it all over the eyelid and this is going to serve as my eyeshadow base. Right now, I'm going in with a brown eyeshadow. This is from my Morph palette, and I'm going to be using this brown all over my lid. So this gives to serve as my base color for my eyeshadow um, and my pigment that I'm going to be applying on top of this. I'm just taking my time to just blend in that brown on the outer corners of the eyes. all over my eyes my eyelid with that brown and now i just used a an orange shade from my blossom african pride shade um, palette and i'm just use that to blend the transition color i actually also used um, a darker brown on the outer corner of the eyes after using a lighter brown not really a lighter brown but a uh, a brown that is a bit lighter than the one i used for the outer corner all over the lid I'm applying the darker brown on the under of my eye I'm just applying it underneath the under eye and I'm just kind of smoking it underneath the eyes I'm using that black eyeshadow on that blossom palette and I'm just kind of smoking the outer corners of the eyes. I'm kind of elevating, drawing like a line and I'm just kind of smoking that part out and also the under eyes. So I'm using this gold from my collection palette and I'm just applying that all over the eyelid Right now I'm going in with my, um, this is a pigment from Peaches and Cream. This is a pigment from Peaches and Cream and this is in Gatsby and it's a champagne gold shimmer. It's such a beautiful shimmery um, pigment. It's like really so beautiful and I'm just applying that on top of that gold to give the eyes all the sparkles. And I'm just applying a little bit 
to the inner corners of the eyes just to make that place pop also after doing that i just went in and did my liner and my lashes right now i'm doing my lips and i'm going to be starting off with using this lip stain from classic and this is in the shade hot flame so this lipstick is not really so expensive and as you are you guys already know classic lip stains are not so expensive i think for like one five or so yes so but this is like a really mad beautiful ox blonde burgundy shade it's really so great for lining the lips when doing the red um lips it just makes it pop so much better and after doing that i'm just going to be using my red shade i'm using this milani shade in amor 22 amor and this is going to be the red i'll be using all over the lips and i'm just going to take my time and um, make sure that this blends with the classic and you know they look well blended I'm just using a little bit of concealer to just define the lips you know in case of any mistakes i'm just trying to make sure everything looks perfectly defined and you know none of them is going outside of the lips none of the lip stain is peeking outside of the lips i'm just trying to properly define the lips you guys are you feeling these lips I totally really liked the lips matte but you know <laughs> let's see i also used this mac lip stain just in the middle of it just to make sure that red is looking you know red i'm just gonna link the name of this mark down below i can't remember right now so just make sure it looks red and then we topped it off with a lip gloss i know it actually looks really pretty matte though now looking at it i wonder why i did lip gloss i think i would have loved it without the gloss but you know guys what do you think about this look do you love it do you not love it let me know in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and share my video until my next video bye bye